What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Uh, real quick, I just want to point out, I was talking about the last episode of how I wish I could have gone back and gone through that door that was partially open that I totally opened uh, eventually anyways, and it looks like, judging by this map here, it looks like it did open and they both led to the same spot anyways, because, like, you see where the maps kind of, like, overlap each other a bit, like, on the left of the map right now, that's the first floor right there. And then the green map's the floor when we fell down the shaft. So it looks like it, it all met up anyway. So I don't think I missed anything, thankfully. Anyway, let's go through this vault door and see what's in here. Totally get an idea. Here's that symbol on the floor again. Oh, no, never mind. It's not what I thought it was. Totally not what I thought it was. Hello. Oh, no. I never run. Oh, wait. I have a heart on me. Don't worry about it, bro. Uh oh. All the guards are gonna fight me, bros? This is bad. This is bad to the bone. Use the power! Where is it? It's in my body. I man. will not ask again, child. You should probably know. Dude, look Very at all those well, abs. Then. Holy crap. You will succumb to the horrors. <laughs> not the horrors. Uh oh. Well, that aided me well. That's really unfortunate for me. Me, myself, and I. I ain't got nobody. Chapter complete. That I got to tango? Just me, myself, and I don't know the words. So the rest of the game pretty much going to be here. Oh! Small shrine of candles, a place that appears to be very... Yeah, I already read that. Uh... Oh, I see. There we go. See that picture on the top there? Holy secret bookcase, that wasn't a bookcase at all. No, seriously, look, there's like nowhere for the books to have gone. <laughs> In the correct sequence of candles being lit, a hidden panel opens. There's a message tube inside. Pick it up! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have one more. Of those, like, um, uh, like, flashback, not flash, it's not a flashback, really, but I mean, it's a thing. An antique leather-bound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed mustard screws, it appears to be unopened. Might be something inside. Should Alex open it? No, of course not. Suspicions and conspiracy. Here we go. The last one, probably. It's an eyeball! Your presence is welcomed, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings Hello. are a pleasure Ooh, to Ooh, it's a woman. He lies. As do we all. What is this do. law you wish to discuss with us? My concern cool. is with the other ancients. It's like Uriot, two people in one. Chaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok? They will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarin Too late! Bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. That whisper voice is awesome. To retrieve Mandrock's essence, it is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank <laughs> is an instrument Frank. of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Hi, it's not Pios. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Probably or dead would probably be the one than the other. <laughs> make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. Probably not. 
Or else that's a major plot point. After the chat page is removed, the message tube is no longer needed. Alex discards it. So is Alex seeing all this? Or, like... What's changed here? So I feel the okay, arcane knickknacks. Um, mementos of yesteryear and other cultures. The odor of ancient texts is faintly noticeable under the peppering of dust that covers every surface except the one. The dust has not been center of activity and not a moat of dust is on it. Uh, here, Alex's grandfather has worked on props even hours before the end. Oh, I sure I never thought about that. So is that it then? Have we looked at all the things? Now what? I mean, it doesn't really give an indication of what to do next. I'm just kind of going through all the... Th okay, do I have anything in our inventory? Do we use it now? I guess we do. From I guess my that's research, it. it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Ooh, Whenever ancients. a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new <laughs> the Holy Frank. Roman Empire was at the height of its power. That's a weird cloaked figure. Is he wearing a mask? He better be. Nope, he's totally not. He looks like a freaking Adominum walking skeleton. Imperatorum nostrum, Carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our Lord and Emperor Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him <laughs> must the see Frank. it. They are words for his eyes only. At once. That guy looks like he's gonna die like any second. This guy has like no blood in him at all. Oh, oh, oh nice, we're playing this character now. Interesting how out of the three out of the four characters we played so far have all been women. <gasps> we're not the Emperor! Oh, never mind, this is a guy. Holy <laughs> Thousand Woman. What a sorcery is this? A spell? I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. I've already been bewitched. Spooky, scary Spellingtons have taken over me. Oh, nice. Oh, cool, we're in like a more populated um, setting this time. After Anthony briefly describes his mission, the monk informs him that Sharma. I, I, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it. I forget how they pronounce it. I was last seen an audience with a bishop in the visiting chamber. It's weird that they don't let you really talk to anybody. They just kind of tell you what they would say if they did talk to them. Anthony's presence is questioned by the monk's feeling that he has trespassed upon sacred ground. The monk seems rather subdued, perhaps out of respect or perhaps out of fear. Maybe they know I am bewitched. Muffled voices emits from the inside of the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked and to lead the bishop's scene in order to enter the audience. With Charmin. With Charmin. Cha cha cha. Charmin. Visibly disturbed with grief and despair, the monk sobs pitifully. He recounts, or recounts that this is not the only death to have occurred recently and wonders if perhaps the order is being punished for a wavering of fate. I really like this, this, um, choir singing in the background. Of course, it's really faded out now. There we go. That sounds really freaking cool. It reminds me of the very, the one time I ever went to church was on a Christmas thing. And, like, uh, I think I've told this story before, but, like, everyone stood up. And like we were gonna sing, and I, I was about to sing with everybody. I was probably around twelve at the time, and I literally lost my breath because of like as soon as people started singing, I'm like, oh my god, this is beautiful. Like it's a, it was amazing to me, like how great everybody sounded. <laughs> the bug cordially greets Anthony. However, he brings grave news of the loss of one of his order, who fell from the tower to his death. His tone is guarded, leaving Anthony wondering if indeed this is the truth. Uh, okay, guess this guy will talk. Do you want to talk to me yet? Do you want to talk to me yet? Hey, do you want to talk to me yet? Do you want to talk to me yet? Hey, hey, do you want to talk to me yet? Fine, we won't talk. Rude. Oh, there's one right here, though. Hello, dude. The monk informs Anthony that the order is awaiting the arrival of the bishop so that the funeral rites may begin. There's much grieving to do since this is not the only reason death of among the order. Are you going to talk to me now? Talk to me! You dinkus malinkus. Where are you going? Huh? Punk? He is going off screen where we will never see him again. 
Upstairs we go! Whoa! That's a cool transition. Are you about to witness the death? Oh crap! Oh, that's awesome! Look at all the faces on the ground! Cradle in what appears to be a leathery hand lies in the series book. It's bound with human skin and intricately decorated with sunken, shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. So, d does he know all this knowledge now? I mean, all that stuff just flashed in front of his eyes. This game's really cool so far. I really like this. It's, it's different. It's really different, actually. Okay, so now what? <laughs> uh, there doesn't really seem to be anywhere to go, like, at all. Ooh, ooh, I turned to an ape, apparently. Yeah, we still need a key. Is there anywhere else to go? There's stairs on this side as well. <laughs> Way he's breathing. Anthony cannot leave yet. Charles Magni must be warned of the conspiracy against them. Can we not just go inside the room and just straight up tell him? Seems like it might be a good idea. Is there anything else we oh oh it's a different room now? That's cool. That's really freaking cool. Uh this a blue urn rests upon the shelf. Okay. Let's very pointlessly steal this for no reason other than it's convenient for the plot. <laughs> Faint warm sunlight f filters through the room through these windows. The tiny dust motes drift, caught in the rays of dying sun, biting the growing shadow. You no, know, honestly, living in like these medieval times, I feel it like would be really cool for like a week. And after that, it would really suck. But like. I don't know, I feel that's it, 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 like everything would just feel so cool. Somewhat addled by Anthony's distraction, the monk kindly requests to be left alone. Fine! Ooh, hello? A bewildering array of books and tomes sorted neatly on the set of shelves, mostly books of a religious nature. They sit beneath a skewn of dust as if no one has ever touched them, ever. Nothing. Says the same thing. I see a glitter gladder. I need you to move, sir. Okay. Whoa! He's he was moving. Okay, pick the, let's pick up the triangle of doom. Then he reaches out for the medallion, but the monk says that is a, ver, ven, a venerable artifact required for research should not be touched. Can't touch it anyways. Touch! Like Patrick in that episode of the museum. Alright, can you move too, sir? Sir, you need to move. Alright, let's go see this book in the meantime. Nope. Let's go see your shelf in the meantime. Nope. Dude, there we go. He moved. Yes. Nothing. We have accomplished nothing. Uh, can we use anything? Uh, while fumbling around, the urn slips from Anthony's stiff fingers, dashing gets off the fragments as it hits the floor. Through the broken blue urn. Yay, we did it. Found the magical rune. Oh, so I was right about calling them runes. Runes are the key element in creating spells. By collecting and combining runes in different ways, different spells can be created. Spells are magical incantations that enhance a character's natural abilities. Spell list. Spell list is an inventory of all the spell information that has been acquired. It will allow the player to select which spells to cast, uh, examine, or assign to convenient quick spell buttons. Uh, new spell selecting this will allow the player to to experiment with rune combinations to discover new spells. This section is an inventory <coughs> of all components of magical spells that you have acquired. Uh, with this function, the player can review their current assignment of spells to quick spell buttons. Yay, look at all the spells we have! Whee! We can even go down! Great. He does not have enough components to attempt to research spells at this time. Hmm. So I wonder if you have to ha know the, like, 
combinations ahead of time somehow, or if it's just kind of going to be able to tell you. It's a mystery. All right, then. That's unfortunate for me. Oh, nice. Oh, so that's why everything's been, like, pretty much kept to the A and B button in this game so far. Can we, like, use this now or something? Okay. Uh, do we have anything else? Okay. Mm, perhaps it can be repaired. Perhaps it can be repaired, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, magical... My message shows we also use the transfer messages securely. This one has the strangest diagram on it, consisting of a pentagonal shape with strange letters at each corner. When Anthony had opened the scroll, something strange happened. That something has been intended for the Emperor Charlotte. Uh, suspecting a plot against the Emperor, Anthony pledged that we would warn the Charlotte at all costs. Thank God, you need to warn the Charlotte. Sheesh, if no one warns the Charlotte, bad things will happen. Okay, can I seriously do nothing with this? Okay, okay, I can't use- Oh, it doesn't even let me use anything. Which really leads me to believe that there is nothing to be done with any of those objects. Which is kind of good, because that really limits my possibilities here. Which would probably mean something is going to happen soon. Dude, you're in my way! You're in my way, you asshole. You dink. Bishop's key. Where might I find a bishop's key? Can any of you point me to the direction of a bishop's key? Dude, why are all these guys in the way? You all need to move! I can't go that way. Okay, finally let me go that way. I'm so lost on what to do right now. Hey, this guy wasn't here before. Dude, it's like a maze to get up here again. Okay, I could seriously do nothing. I don't understand why what this Tome of Darkness is supposed to do. But I'm sure that will become relevant later. Maybe, I hope. Dude, what do I do? I've exhausted all my options. Do I have to talk to somebody again? Do I have to find the correct monk to talk to? Can I show like these guys a school or something? Hmm. Try talking to everybody again. Um, I should probably skim through what they're saying too, just in case they tell me some kind of weird hint or something. Yeah, yeah, the wavering faith of the freaking peoples. Alright, you clearly don't want to talk to me, you asshole. Just because your friend died doesn't mean you got to be an asshole to me. Jeez. Just kidding, that's terrible. Oh, are these... okay. Is there another door here? That's, no, there's not. Okay, there's just a camera angle. Dude, what do I do? Hmm. Hmm. How very unfortunate for me. I do not know what to do. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second once I find something. Let me in, assholes! Let me in! I'm punching the door! I'm trying to punch my way in! Let me in! I can't do it! Don't let me do nothing! Dude... Whoa, 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 whoa! Who wasn't letting me examine this before? Primal casket is made of unfinished wood. It is not properly sealed. It could possibly probably be open. This is a dick move, but let's open it. <gasps> oh my god, what is oh, it? What happened? This devil's work. We should get Has out. no one looked at this yet? What? I was going to look at this yet. have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Or look how his, his body has been defiled. As if something has uh, burst out from inside him. It Here, was a Satan. Take this for your protection. And find Are the you bishop. allowed to have things like that you in must church? must be informed of this horrible discovery. Per, uh, acquired a scramasax. Scramasax. Scramasax, scramasax, scramas. Sax, sax, saxophone. Everyone just kind of leave. Everyone just kind of paste the boop out. Hello. Hello, parents of the cat's kid. I think this is the body of a man. Here's a raven. 
We start off as two workers, turned with blood sipped from his many grievous wounds. That is truly a disturbing sight. All right, let's equip this. Uh, let's also check it, just just for the flavoring text. The Franken-Saxon weapon relies on hefty blade to deliver deadly cutting and slashing attacks. It does not have a handguard uh, as it was designed for offense rather than defense fighting. Oh, interesting. Why wouldn't you have, like, a handguard on that, though? I mean, I understand stuff like that. It's like, I mean, if you get added, why don't you put it? Muffled voices emanates from the bishop. Oh, we still need the key, huh? We we'll still need the key, eh? Let's go hold up these people up here and steal that triangle artifact, eh? It's probably time for me to end off this episode, eh? Oh no. Oh god, I don't look too great. Oh god. Oh no. Terrible news, bears! Terrible news, bears! Alright, let's pick this up. A mysterious gold medallion rests upon the desk. Pick it up, 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 pick it up. I'm on fire! Ooh, a circle of power. Oh, I see. Circles of power describe the amount of power that spell will have. The more points within the circle, the stronger spell will be. Uh, I'm totally gonna miss a lot of these, aren't I? Oh man, I feel like these are all optional. And I also feel like I'm gonna miss them all. Okay. I hear Satan noises now. Great. Oh, man. Uh, a book brings attention to itself. All the pristine of the dusty shelf that doesn't quite belong. Should I think move the book? Yeah, of course. How come we didn't notice this before? All of freaking Luya. Oh, does this go down to where the guy, the dude is? Alright, I should really need enough of this. Whoa! Hello, sir. Would you be interested in buying some of our pristine Girl Scout cookies? No? Okay. Then you must die! GTF- Oh, see? It is the guys with the green glowy eyes that drain my sanity for some reason. The freaking green glowy laser eyes. Gosh, dog digging dang it. Can we stab you yet? No, we can't. Alright, fine. <laughs> my voice when I scream is funny, man. Dude, come on. Stab all the things. Stab them! Keep stabbing! Hoo -ha -hee. I think things are about to slash. Nope, maybe not. Everything's all gooey, so I was like. Dude, I'm mashing A as quickly as I can! <laughs> Alright. You can all just die, please. Alright, come on. I'm mashing A, I'm mashing A. Yay! We're all dead. I'm freezing. Woo! Freezing in place! Finish all the things. Okay, I really got enough this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Eternal Darkness, Sandy's Requiem. If you enjoyed, please leave a like if you're not already. Let's go take a look at this thing before we leave here. Ooh. What the heck? What did I just do? Did I make a new spell? Ah! Uh, I don't know what's going on! Help! Mommy! How come we're all question marks? I don't thought that hand. Quick spell. I mean... Did I do it? No? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next episode, we'll go down this corridor and see what's going on. And maybe I'll slowly turn into one of those pale dudes. The same guy that delivered me that scroll to begin with. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!